It's been a little over 20 years since Diotech was founded. Uh, we started this company to make good products. Our company has acquired great technology and know-how since then. Our country's distribution business is controlled by major companies, so there was no room for a medium-sized company like ours. We couldn't even dream of selling our products under our brand. We didn't have marketing capabilities either, but now we are trying our best to develop our brand to sell our products. In the past, our strategy was to export our products. So our revenue started to go up. And after meeting Atomy in 2010, we started to grow rapidly. Diotech toothbrush is surely a luxury product for the masses. When President Park saw our toothbrush product, he said the design was very simple and good for hygiene. He said the ones with rubber handles are bad for hygiene, and that germs would accumulate on the rubber. But our product was made out of PET material. It's the same material used to make water bottles. So it's totally safe for humans. President Park was able to see this. I've bought countless toothbrushes from discount stores and marts, and I've tried them all. President Park had tested out all the toothbrushes in the market. I brushed my teeth at least 10 times a day. Later, my gums swelled up. He said that his gums hurt, so he tested it on the back of his hand. Diotech's toothbrush was a product which I thought I could use for the rest of my life. He was very assertive on contacting us for this product. This is the famous Atomy toothbrush. In the beginning, we lowered the price too much. In the beginning, we had to negotiate about the price. This product was sold before in discount stores and malls. It was the same product and the same quality. We thought hard about President Park's offer. Our toothbrush was already being sold for $1.5 to $2, but President Park asked me to sell it for 99 cents. I could not figure out what President Park was thinking. It's very difficult to achieve absolute product and absolute price. That's what I thought when President Park made his proposition. We are selling a $2 product now in Atomy for 99 cents. We set the price so that it would not burden any consumer. That is why we are able to sell tens of millions of toothbrushes today. But it was not easy to decrease the price of the toothbrush to less than a dollar. So I made a proposal. You are borrowing money to pay for your material, right? Let me pay you advance in cash. At the time, President Park paid 100% of our manufacturing costs. I could not believe it. Atomy had paid us in advance to manufacture 200,000 toothbrushes. And I proposed that they transport the products in units of tons. I advised that would bring down the cost. That's what I had proposed. Now, due to this proposal, we felt more responsible on our end. Because we had a lot on our plate. Instead of looking for other partners, in order to decrease our manufacturing costs, we decided to just work with our current partner. And we decided to also pay our suppliers in advance and conduct daily meetings with them, just like Atomy had done with us. Because of this, we were able to lower our costs and achieve the miracle of selling our toothbrush for less than a dollar. It was a virtuous cycle. I believe Atomy played a big role for our partners to grow alongside us. Our supplying partners are also very cooperative. 
when they hear we are dealing with Atomy's products. We first met Atomy in 2010, and in 2011 we manufactured 5 million toothbrushes. And every year we increased that number to 100%. In 2017, we were making 34 million toothbrushes. This is a record amongst Korean single products. And the number of our employees increased as well. Before meeting Atomy, we had about 13 to 14 employees. Now, we have 60 employees. That's about a 300% increase in number. Before we met Atomy, our revenue was around the $500,000 to $600,000 mark. Since then, our revenue has increased to $16.5 million. This is certainly an exponential growth. Additionally, the popularity of our products has increased greatly in the overseas market. In 2015, we received a $1 million export tower and in 2017, that increased to $3 million. But this $3 million represents a lot more. For a single product, we are probably the only company in Korea to receive this. That is why all of our employees are working with much pride. Honesty and being principled these are the things that build trust. We are able to build strong relationships on this trust. And I believe that's how a system is built. President Park promised to pay us cash up front. And he said he would pay for our products on a weekly basis. I could not believe that offer. But since October of 2010 and up until now, he has never missed a date. Both our partners and us still can't believe how Atomy has been paying us on a weekly basis. In Deotech, we took a lot of pride in the hygiene of our products. We were keeping all the hygiene protocols, but still it wasn't enough for Atomy. Atomy was very meticulous with their hygiene protocol. They requested that we use the same protocol as food products. As we followed Atomy's request, many of our buyers from abroad tell us that they've never seen a factory that has such clean facilities and a detailed hygiene protocol for toothbrushes. More than anything, since we've met Atomy, what I want to boast about most is our quality control system. For eight years, in order to improve our quality, we reinvested 10% of our revenue to expand our facilities and in R&D. In Korea, there are no machines that can test toothbrushes. However, we developed a machine within our company and we are currently using it on our toothbrushes. We are currently testing our toothbrushes at a much higher standard than that of Korea's industrial standard. Without such investments, we won't be able to keep up with Atomy. This is the only way for us to keep up with Atomy that is growing at an explosive rate. Deotech will try its best to keep up with Atomy's absolute quality and absolute price standards. At this time, our company employees are brainstorming how it is we can change our factory system into an automated system. We have recently moved to a new factory building and we will try our best and give everything we have in order to manufacture safer and better products. Uh, Atomy is actually aiming to be a 100-year company. 
In order for Atomy to be around for 100 years, our partnering companies need to become 100-year companies as well. We hope that we can be around for 100 years as well. We need to go 100 years with these toothbrushes. We want to walk alongside Atomy for the next 100 years. I hope people will think of Diotech's toothbrush as Atomy's luxury product. We will strive to be a company that develops and launches better products. I am very confident and excited that the day will come where Diotech will be loved by consumers all over the world. As Atomy becomes the world's distribution hub, we want to become a world-renowned brand as well. Just like when we first met Atomy, Diotech will strive to become a company that can be acknowledged by the Chinese market and by the world as well. Okay. <laughs>